Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Sector Series video. This is the Industrial Scientific Ventus Pro 5 unit. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Let's get this started and while we are we'll talk a little bit about it. Press and hold the button on the left. It's the power button. Wait till it vibrates and then let go and it'll go into startup mode. And while this is starting out, it's going to go through a lot of different settings. Uh, this is a demo unit we actually got from Dan Lemon over at Industrial Scientific. They let us use this. And so first things first, we're going to block the inlet, pop your finger on the top, wait for it to tell you it's okay, let go, and now press this button on the pump here. Now if you have a diffusion instrument and it has the, uh, the white area in the front here, this will just skip this section and it'll be good to go. Alright, so we're going to let that start up, and oh, first things first, it's going to ask us for an iAssign tag. I'll talk about this in a second, but essentially, uh, this is a tag that lets the monitor know who I am, so you can give these to your guys, and uh, this is Cole Killian. Technically, I've stolen his tag here, and Ideal Calibration, so that's us, uh, but this tells the monitor now who's using the gas detector, so this way, if something happens and there's an alert that goes out, uh, this can wirelessly broadcast to the other units that are uh, on the same frequency in the area so that if they're grouped up with it and it can tell the other people in the group hey uh, coal is down or coal is seeing an alarm of some sort uh, and it also save it in the data log so if you ever need to go back and get that information you can get it pretty quick and easy. Uh, it's going to go through the alarms here it's going to say uh, days since calibration uh, it'll show the alarm limits uh, it'll give it a little bit more information on the monitor but while that's happening let's get our calibration gas set up put this down, drop that First things first, we're going to check the values here. Uh, for this monitor, the standard for the four gas units is a 25 part per million hydrogen sulfide, 100 part per million carbon monoxide, 25% LEL pentane, 18% oxygen, and a nitrogen balance. You also want to check the expiration, make sure we're in date. Uh, as you can see, we're at, uh, at 06, 15, 23, so we got plenty of time on this mix. So I'll put this down here, and it looks like the monitor is all started up. Okay, so. Uh, before we get this into calibration mode, let's go through and just look at what the screens are. So if you power through once, it's going to take you to, if you have the lens wireless, it'll take you to the setup. If there's other monitors nearby, it'll show them and you can connect them. This shows who you are, who is the user currently. Press it again. And now we're looking at the days since calibration in last span. Uh, if you press the, power, the enter button here, it'll start the zero process. We'll come back to this. B is for bump test, so you would press the button, then hook up the gas, and you would do your daily bump check. Now here this is showing peak values, so this is the highs of all these sensors and the lows for the oxygen. And now we're looking at the TWA, this is time weighted 8 hour average. STEL is the 15 minute moving average. And now we get to a screen that displays what the sensor is and it gives you a lot of good information here. So you can see the alarms, that's your low and your high alarm, if there's a Stell and a TWA they show there, and it shows the calibration gas value. So in this case it's going to calibrate to uh, 20.9 but it checks it with 18, so that's why we have 18 in the cylinder. So you can go through each one of these, the LEL, CO, and H2S sensors, and it's got some good information in here. Uh, this is a feature I really like that Industrial Scientific does. I don't know of any other gas detector that has such an easy to read screen here. That's one of the things I really like about this monitor, the Pro uh, versus the older MX4 units. They really increase the usability of the UI. It just makes it a lot easier to go through and find what you're looking for. So before we get into calibration mode, Let's get our cylinder all set up. So grab your demand flow regulator. Uh, so this, this regulator is going to deliver gas flow as it's pulled from the pump. And that's what you want to use with a pumped monitor like this one. You don't want to use a fixed flow because it never gives it the right flow rate. So you pop that in. You'll see it gives our gauge there. We've got good pressure. You generally want to use these down to about a little less than 100 PSI. Anything lower than that, and uh, you start getting some flow issues occasionally. All right, now... Let's take this here. We've got this all, all plugged in. And I'll put it off to this side here. Go ahead and press the power button. Press it again. One more time. Let's see here. And get to this screen here. And once you're there, press the enter button. And it's going to give you a screen showing it's zeroing. So we want to make sure that the gas isn't applied now. This is just fresh room air. You want to be somewhere where it's clean, not in the garage with like a truck running next to you or anything like that. 
Now you'll see the oxygen percentage. So this is a percentage left of span. So that essentially means it's life. So you're seeing 143%. That's great. Uh, you know, once you get below 100, you want to think about ordering another sensor. Okay, now it's so showing check boxes. That means it's all good. Now it's showing us the calibration cylinder. We're going to press enter. It's going to say apply calibration gas. So we apply that in there. The tubing we use here is uh, eighth inch in ID and it fits inside of the, on the uh, outside of the little peg in there. Uh, so you'll see the all the sensors are moving now except the oxygen and let's see if I can get that a little clearer and reduce that. That's a little better right there. Uh, so you can see it's, the oxygen isn't showing anything uh, and that's because right now it's not calibrating the oxygen sensor, it calibrates its room air and it just uh, hangs out right now and doesn't just turns it, uh, the display off currently. So you can see uh, these other values are all above 100%, so those are all doing great. That uh, means we've got a lot of span reserve on the sensors here. So you, once you get below 100, you generally want to order new sensors, but you can you make them last. I think the cutoff point is around 70%, uh, percent where they'll, they'll start totally failing on you. So you get a little bit more time with that. Okay, got a beep. All good. So, calibration's complete. Pop the tubing off. Uh, you don't need to turn this off or anything like that. Once it's removed, it stops flowing gas for you. So we'll watch this as it goes back to the next screen. And what it's doing right now is it's just clearing the gas through. You can see how these values are lower. It has the alarm off right now uh, as we go down. Uh, but once you get, uh, once you give it a few more seconds, these should all be back to 20.9, 0, 0, 0, and 0. So we'll give it just a moment to go through. Uh, and then once it does, we're going to go through, and I'll show you how to do a bump test on it for your daily bump. Okay. Yep. 20 point. 20, it's close enough, so don't mind that. It's just the software trying to connect to an online system for it. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. We're going to press the power button. Press it again, again. Keep going. And we want this screen here, the bump screen. Go ahead and press the button. And now we apply our bump gas. And it shows you the values that it wants on the cylinder. So it's applying the gas now. So you can hear the alarm going off. I can feel the vibrating alarm, and I'm watching these strobes. And that's what tells you a bump test is passed. Now it gives us the check boxes. Pop that out. And we saw all the sensors move. They all passed their bump check. So now they're going to head on down. And essentially, you're ready to go now. Uh, it's going to clear out of this screen. It'll go back to normal reading mode in a couple seconds. There we go. Okay, and you just want to wait for this to get down to zeros, and then you're ready to go to work, uh, if that's the unit. If you have any questions on anything, or uh, if you guys want to order calibration gas, or need parts, or technical advice, you know, feel free to give us a call here. Uh, my, my name is James Moore, and the phone number is 734-956-0539. It's right here. And you can also email us to support at idealcalibrations.com. Thank you, guys. Uh, be safe and take care out there. Thanks for watching.